Vinisha Mashankar. I am a 15 year old grade 10 student, innovator and public speaker. My innovation is the solar ironing cart and I work on creating sustainable and affordable products to create a better future. The solar ironing cart's main aim is to eliminate the usage of charcoal which is used to iron clothes in India. Because it causes a lot of pollution and health disorders, I wanted to create an alternative to charcoal which ended up with the solar ironing cart. The solar ironing cart runs solely on solar power and is charged with a battery and an iron box. So it's completely off the grid and requires little to no maintenance. It lasts for about 30 years so it's a worthy investment. Currently, the solar ironing cart has been patented and is in the business model stage, but we're working on bringing it into the market, perhaps later this year or earliest at the next year. So, currently it's about 30 to 40,000, perhaps even higher for one piece, but due to mass manufacturing and tax evasion for solar products and solar companies, the cost can come down drastically, which will make it much more affordable for the ironing vendors themselves. This will help them come out of the poverty cycle and lead a dignified life as well. There were both positive and negative comments, like two sides of a coin. So there are people encouraging me, saying that it's good that I come up with ideas at such a young age and that it's an inspiration to others and it's a really good thing that I've started something else apart from academics. At the same time, there were people saying that why I was doing such things in the first place where I should be focusing only on academics or focusing on something else, that I don't even have an engineering degree to do such things. There were a lot of comments, varied things. At the same time, I didn't want to focus on what they were saying because I wanted to create something and help the people who really needed it. So if there's one thing, just don't care what people say, just focus on your passion. It will work out in the end. My inspiration or role model, you could say, is C.V. Raman and Mary Curie. Both of them were incredibly brave, incredibly smart for what they had in their time. The opportunities they had were also a little limited with the constraints that they had. C. V. Raman ended up becoming an amazing physicist, the first Asian to ever win the Nobel Prize. Mary Curie was an incredible scientist for her age. She really broke the bias at a really long time ago itself. And I really think that's an inspiration for people who are there nowadays. But my support system is definitely my parents who have supported me and encouraged me from the start. They've never discouraged me from doing anything. They've always supported me and told me just to become better every time. There are many ways the world can change, especially for the better. One thing I think is we've taken pollution too far. Uh, nowadays we don't seem to know a limit between wrong and right. Uh, pollution has gone to the level where it's harming aquatic life. We also think that apparently dumping garbage in other countries is okay. But that's definitely wrong. When you put it in words, you can see how harmful it is. And I think that we should bring that to light and see what's happening in the world right now because there are many changes that can be done. I think one of them might be a little far-fetched but fundamental right for clean air, land and water because we as humans, we do require those things but often we don't receive it. So that's one change I would like to see in the world in the future. And of course, peace and harmony are also something that we need. For right now, I'm really working on climate change. I'm also working on affordability. One thing 
pri products are almost always overpriced nowadays sometimes i do feel like it's okay to bring it down bring the prices down but you can still keep the quality which will make your business much more flair and i think that will be much more better for the whole of the society itself so that's one change i'd like to bring and another thing is sustainable products making products much more cheaper doesn't mean you have to compromise on quality sometimes you can still get the best of both worlds by merging them together and that's something i would like to bring in my future business the status of women in india has been steadily improving i would say in the past Uh, we did definitely have a breach in the gender gap and bias between women and men but nowadays it's definitely increasing and i can see that both politics healthcare transportation culture everything is changing steadily even other people's viewpoint of our issues are changing and i can see that in my own school in my own society So the status of women is slowly but steadily changing. Change doesn't happen overnight. So we just have to be patient and change will definitely come sooner or later. So currently the solar rising cut for the business model itself costs between 40 30 to 50,000. It depends on the parts that I have to purchase. But It doesn't necessarily mean that the final product is going to cost the same. When you mass manufacture a product, the cost definitely comes down as you can see with bulk orders. So that's definitely one factor. The other factor is the government is currently uh, giving tax evasions and concessions for solar companies and solar powered products as part of their new initiative. uh one solar one grid so the prime minister narendra modi just introduced it in cop 26 so that's going to be really useful for solar powered products coming into the future that's one other factor and the third thing is the solar ironing cart itself will become much more better quality wise and much more affordable so there will be profit both for the customer and the business itself The purpose of COP26 itself is to bring countries together and discuss climate change. That's the base of COP26. But within the event, you bring in world leaders who tell what initiatives they have made to solve the problems of climate change. Because when you think of climate change, it's not one issue. Many issues come together and then change our climate. For example, pollution is one of them. but it contributes to climate change so these world leaders come together and discuss what kind of solutions they're going to implement to solve these problems and in such a way i got the chance to address the gathering at cop26 which was a really productive and a really good opportunity for me because i got to represent the younger generation and what we feel that the leaders should take on to solve the climate crisis because we'll be facing these consequences in the future for the younger generation my advice is stay true to yourself believe in yourself because all the people always have opinions to tell you whether it's wrong right or whether you think it's true or false everybody has something to say but that doesn't mean you always have to listen and take it to heart just focus on your passion develop your own unique set of skills and you will be favored you will definitely rise and be successful so just focus on your passion it definitely works out in the end <laughs>